<laughs> hey there. Looks like everyone's trying to stream around right now. There is enough time for people to get home. Yes, indeed, I got home yesterday at around 4.50. Hello, Matty Batty. Thank you for coming, guys. Jack and Saksam, 135. Alacran Live, ¿qué tal? So we are here back home after an amazing weekend. Oh my goodness. It was truly something else. Let me know if you guys can hear me and if I need to turn the volume of the music lower or higher. Please let me know, guys. I think it's kind of loud, I don't know. And I am listening to free metal songs on YouTube. So if you do type royalty free death metal, you're gonna come across these playlists and it's gonna have metalcore, etc, etc, etc. Leap 2000! Que tal saludos? Muchos saludos. Alright, let me turn this a little bit lower because I think it's too loud. Okay, I think I can hear myself out. Okay, is that better now? Like that. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. How about now? Is that mosquito around somewhere? Oh my god! Mosquitoes! Ugh. I think I brought some mosquitoes. Let me a little bit less uh, hopefully you guys still hear something good all right perfect all right so you went to twitchcon you have the little badge what was your highlight i would like to know first what was your highlight of the whole weekend what was the thing that you liked the most Besides being an amazing weekend. You can hear me much better. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I don't want to have these too close to my mouth because sometimes when you can hear me breathing. And you can hear me breathing. <laughs> and there's a mosquito somewhere around here and it's gonna attack me and I'm gonna... Mm. Or it's gonna be my turn. So, I got to San Jose on Thursday, around 2 p.m., and uh, I booked a hotel that was five minutes away from the airport. So as soon as we got to the airport, I went with Chris Gat, one of my friends, and uh, we were like, of course everything, you know, we were really not very sure what we were, go were gonna do, we didn't have a ride to the hotel. So we decided to get a lift and uh, just beat that start. It was super meant to be. The lift driver had water and had candy with chocolates in his car. Like, yeah, you want candy? I'm like, oh my god, yeah. So I drop off to the hotel and we noticed that there's a tram that actually goes all the way to the convention center and back to the hotel. And that was freaking amazing because it was just two dollars and change and the hotel that I stayed at it was around a hundred dollars a night so it was not terrible so total the hotel was around five hundred dollars with the deposit it was a bedroom with two beds two double beds and it was pretty pretty nice I was I think it was gonna be super ghetto, but it was really nice. And they, there was a Dennis next to the hotel, so it was perfect. I don't usually eat the Dennis, but it was cheap and it was right there, so it helped a lot. So the time comes to pick up the badges and we go to the tram. Yeah, let's go use the tram, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, okay, so which way are we going? Um, which one is the one that we were supposed to take? The colors were super confusing. I don't, I'm not used to public transportation in this country, so it was confusing. But we saw a bunch of people that were going to be uh, 
heading to the Twitch con and they were trying to figure out as, as well how to use that tram. And we get to the ma machine and they're like, yeah, I don't know what this clipper, it is, clipper thing is. And uh, somebody got it and it was not working. And they're like, what path do we, do we get it to our path? The, oh my god, it was crazy. Thank you for the donation. Oh my goodness, we are getting closer to the Bayonetta cosplay goal. Oh yes. And your answer, oh my gosh, I can't wait to know what was your best experience or the highlight of your weekend. So well, there was a bunch of people right there that, try that were trying to figure out how to make that work. And uh, oh, no worries, it bugged. Sometimes things bug. Don't you worry. <laughs> but thank you for that tip. Oh my god. Um, so, you know, after a few minutes, we figure it out. We got the um, ex, ex, what was it? Expedition or something like something along those lines. Not exploration. I don't know. I can't remember. But it was an eight-hour ticket. So we got it. I can't remember exactly what time it was, but the time limit was 11-ish p.m. So that gave us enough time to figure out what we're going to do, if we're going to take the tram back. But we get to the convention center with the tram. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Ah! Thank you! Jade, hey! Welcome, Chica. I know you're not feeling quite well, but I appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Saxaf. Oh my god. You're awesome. I appreciate that. We're getting closer to that goal. I am so excited. You have no idea to cosplay Bayonetta. You have no idea. And uh, I will be wearing that costume on stream when I get it. After the goal is met, I'm going to work on the costume. I already have an idea of what I'm doing with it. Shadow Kitty! Uh, the hair is going to be a little bit more difficult than anything else at this point because I don't style wigs. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you will remember. I was actually going through the business cards that I got. I mean, it's hard for me sometimes to remember the names. Especially the usernames. The one thing I should have done, the one thing I sh regret not doing, is meeting the people and taking pictures of their badges close to their face. This is me! <laughs> but it was nice to meet you. I, that was my highlight, to be honest. Um, meeting everybody at the convention. Even at the airport, I met so many people. It was... It was a beautiful weekend. It was meant to be like... It, it was my calling. I finally found my calling, guys. No big you're actually. Oh, you're getting sick. Well, drink some vitamins. I'm drinking some weird shit right now. It's green stuff. I need. I have to put aloe juice in it, so otherwise it's going. It tastes like I'm drinking grass. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's kind of undrinkable if you don't mix it with juice or whatever tastes good to you. But anyway, so we get to the convention center and there was a, an ocean of people outside. We're like, ah, it's Thursday and oh my God. I think you want to, you kind of forgot talking for so long and never a Russian sign with a guy up in the side door. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so funny. We're like, ah, let's go inside. That's open! <laughs> After how how long? 45 minutes? Hey, Airborne Native! Sipping that tea for the Twitch gossip. Yeah, it's gonna be like... We're gonna talk about what I remember. Uh, it was... Uh, it's it was a, it's a lot. So after these, we'll play Dead by Daylight. If you guys want to join, just let me know. My team name is Mar de Chaos. It's the same thing as Twitch, so... Get ready if you want to join Dead by Daylight later. Yeah, I, al I almost ran out of business cards. It was pretty nuts. How prepared tomorrow so you can work and do a little one? Yeah, 
Well, take care of yourself, Jade. I don't have any decorations outside because, you know, it's Arizona and they melt. All right, perfect. Yeah, I've been. I'm gonna be in the Discord if anything, but message me. But we'll play Dead by Daylight after these. Um, not gossip, but the stories. You know that I. Everything that I remember, the memorable moments and stuff like that. But. So we get there and uh, the lines were pretty crazy and I'm glad I we got there on Thursday. I honestly want, didn't want to go by myself to the convention because it was going to be my first time in San Jose for for instance and my first, you know, Twitch con and I, I wanted to have some backup, you know, a friend with me. So Curious Cat came with me because we live in, in the same uh, state. Dead by Daylight is fun. It is fun. It's super fun. All day, every day. And there was a line for partners and the line for affiliates and community. The lines were not moving that that badly. It was it was pretty fast to get our badges, despite every, everybody, everybody in line. We actually were talking with some people in the tram, and everybody seemed super happy. Everybody was just. I don't know, super kind, and it's one of the reasons that I really like the Twitch community. I was, I was not, I'm not gonna lie, I was very nervous, I was a little bit intimidated because it was my first Twitch con, and I'm still, I'm not that new to streaming, but I'm, I don't know, I'm still new to the community. And, yeah, the last two days were, yeah, it, it was better, except for Saturday in the morning, the lines were ridiculous. So, we got our badge, and on Thursday and don't think we got our swag. Did we get our swag on, on Thursday? I, I don't think so, right? No, no, we didn't get anything on Thursday. We just got our badge. And then after that, we're walking around just to, you know, to find something, a place to eat a dr and have a drink because we were there. It was, it was so surreal. So we go a couple of blocks away and uh, turn to the right. I can't remember the name of the street, but we found this place called Tak O. I can't remember if I got the swag bag when we got the bag. I think I think we did. I just can't remember that detail. It's possible. Yeah, I think. No, yeah, you're right, Sax Saxman. We actually got our, our swag bag that that day when we pick up our badge that you write um, so we got to that place called Taco Taco so it was Taco because we saw a sign that said five dollar margaritas we're like god the fuck out of here five dollar margaritas and it was like the longest happy hour ever yes sax is a lot easier thank you sax <laughs> So we go there and uh, there was a ton of people wearing blue, well, blue purple, you know, it was, we, we took over. Oh my god, Brada's game! Ah, two bots! Hells yes! Two bots in a row! Thank you, man! How are you? <laughs> two months! Thank you, man! Oh my god! All these beautiful people here today. Brada's Games is really a badass dude. Really, really badass dude. And Sax here, Saxman135, I met at TwitchCon on the line. We were underneath the sunlight for a while. <laughs> so the service at that place was pretty bad. They f were like, okay, so we, we saw the prices of the tax. I'm like, okay, that's a decent price, $3. We saw like, no, okay, so. It was like a $6 special, but... It was amazing. I'm kind of going over the story and I'm going to show some of the swag that I got. I, th I don't think I got as much as I could have gotten, but I was more focused I on meeting the people that I wanted to meet. All the friends that I watch their streams or come to my stream, my community, I wanted to meet every single person I could. And I actually did, which is surprising. I, I, I don't know. It was... One of those things that I was nervous about, that not being able to meet everybody or not get the goals that I had in mind. It was just like I said earlier, it was meant to be, it was my calling. And 
that place taco, so we got their margaritas and they took forever to bring it. Um, we we're like, yeah, let's get some tacos, blah, blah, blah. So it was like $4 a taco. Ridiculous. Um, um, and probably like really tiny tacos. I'm like, no, no, no. So we got nachos for like $9 and the plate of nachos was like this big. So like, okay, it looks like we're sharing that little thing of nachos. It was pretty good, but service was pretty bad. The margaritas didn't really have a lot of kick to them, but it was a nice little celebration. And then we got back to the hotel to pretty much lay low. And on the way back, we went to Japan town, which was pretty much everything closed, except for some shops and a little market right there. It was like three blocks was kind of disappointing Japan town but nachos you didn't get much either hoodie six anime shirts and duffel bag it worked up it worked out because now you could have it in a bag you know what oh my god that blue cave so I'm gonna show you what we got for um, this swag I mean so this is a swag bag for affiliate which is not bad and uh, it came with this guy G Fuel so it's for um, protein shakes I guess has this thing, I'm not familiar with this Ricardo como estas? so one of these that I may be using with this green, with green stuff at some point, it's easier to shake the shake a shake a shake you have your nachos shadow kitty mm. do they have brains on them because you know your little panda is eating brains oh I'm gonna show you my badge too I put stickers on the badge because you know it looked kind of naked and uh, the, pin, the affiliate pin that we had to hunt down people because it was a lady at the artist aisle or artist alley or whatever and I was like handing Twitch affiliate badges I'm like hey I want one I'm glad that you're good I'm doing excellent uh, finally back home I mean, it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling because you get used to going to the convention and then all of a sudden oh I don't I don't have anything to do that big I don't, I don't, know, I don't know it feels interesting yeah, you know, you get your stickers. I mean, this is my my logo there, and this was um, can't remember where we got this one, but some people had stickers to give out. I just put stickers there, so something different. It's hamburger meat. Hey, anything is is nice. On you can put anything you want on nachos. Anything you want. So that was Friday, Friday was pretty, I mean, Thursday was pretty chill, and then Friday comes and, uh, you know, it's the time to get in, and that's where I met Sax. The line was something else. How long were we there? Like 45 minutes? Yeah, we were convention high, and now it's the aftermath. I mean, that's how everything goes, but it was, it was so overwhelming and good. Does you know the... This week is cat week. I, I saw that uh, somebody posted National Cat Day was yesterday or something like that. I'm like, National Cat Day was a few weeks ago. I can't remember. I don't care. Cat week should be every week. But cheers to kitties. Yeah, we waited for less an hour. So that's where we met Jinx and Airborne Native and Deja and all these people in line like that was it I think that was the best part with you know I had the pleasure to meet you sax and other people while we were waiting in line because you know what it, what else are we gonna do you stand there not talking to each other that's the one thing I like you know nobody nobody was cold everybody was very open very happy and friendly so I, I I've been to a lot of conventions and this convention was one of the best I've ever gone to. I felt comfortable, I felt, you know, I didn't feel 
anxiety of any kind even even when there was a ton of people there was a, a protest there by the way you guys that was pretty loud and I feel bad for the people that stayed at the hotel at the Marriott right there you want to make low net carb tortilla a chips Network oh. original series. Whether you're zipping, that sounds like a lot of work screaming, climbing or blasting food where wor the workers nice they were too loud build these so we build these businesses you think the funny thing was that we weren't crush your side door was great with the metal detector I know <laughs> we're like yeah we're gonna go there and there were a few metal detectors and I knew for a fact that I was gonna get stopped by my friend as well because we were wearing new rock boots and they had metal and on them like pretty much on the heel and they have the, the casing inside and all, all kinds of little details I have steel on them and they're like yeah you're gonna have to take the boots off like oh man so we took the boots off and I mean kind of little scene but that's fine it was not that bad once we went past there we were like what do we do do we go the merchandise it was like one of those things that ah what do we do what do we do it was so confusing and overwhelming we walk upstairs the, the hall was right there and I'm like jaw drop Oh my god. And then I remember Tony Hawk is talking at 1.30 p.m. So we went immediately to, ton to sit down for Tony Hawk at the Glitch uh, Theater. Or ho the, the Glitch Theater, whatever. And um, he talked about his story and I was just starting to get pumped and inspired. It was pretty cool. And then we decided to go to the... Uh, Friday we, I, yeah, we did leave early. After Tony Hawk, we went to the loot cave and we were in line for another hour. It was not that terrible because people were staying there for two hours or more. And after the loot cave, we pretty much left. I, I personally wanted to eat something and I was, I wanted to get ready for Saturday because you know, I felt, I don't know, Friday felt a little bit strange. It, it, I don't know, it was, it was a little too much, so we went back to the hotel, and like, I need to, you know, get, get our, I need my schedule, kind of like, I need to sleep early, get up early to get going for Saturday, which was a way better day, and the line was moving a lot faster, I mean, we need to go to the party on Friday, I so we went, so I think we left the convention, how what time did we go? We left the convention, because we were with Airborne Native and we went to have some dinner. It was the day we went to get ramen, right? The east side. Four, okay, so we went to get ramen, Airborne Native was amazing and uh, helped us with a ride and we went to eat ramen at this place that was really good. And then we headed to the party, yes, six, around 6.30. We're like, where the hell do we park? And then I was looking at the map and stuff. The entrance for the party was like this too. There was no waiting and we didn't really have anything, you know, with us. And we met somebody in the parking lot as well. Really, really nice. Like everybody was super nice. So we're walking. Outlander BT, thank you so much for the rain. Welcome guys, we're talking about stuff that happened at TwitchCon and stuff. Thank you so much for coming, Outlander BT. You were missed at TwitchCon. Too bad you couldn't go. But um, that's why I'm sharing the story. So we got to the party and we were actually uh, trying to find Godbeck. So I was talking to him on Discord. So it was, it was not the best idea to communicate with Discord at the whole weekend because it was going on and out, on and out. Oh my god, the connection was really bad. Everybody was on the internet, everybody was on their phones trying to communicate with each other, but I uh, was getting a hold of Godbeck and it was like, where, where was everything? Like, everything was so overwhelming. The party was giant. There was a stage, there was several bars. There were food trucks, there was a dodgeball uh, area, there were cornholes, there were bouncy houses, there were bouncy house slides, 
there was all kinds of crazy things. There, there was a futbolito or foosball, if you want to call it that way. How are you, Outlander? And we met with the Godbeck family. I think that was one of the biggest highlights of my weekend. We, you know, I finally get to hug my favorite people, you know, everybody, including, you know, besides all of you that I met. But I really wanted to meet Godbeck because he's helped so many people and that was that was huge for me so it was definitely one of the, the best things of the weekend because I didn't know if we were gonna be able to meet got big fan because I'm pretty sure they were super busy with messages from all the uh, got big fam but we got a couple of drinks we took pictures with turbo sad um, and his wife Jinx was there, his wife was there, and we met a bunch of other people, it was super cool. We didn't really go to the uh, dancing part of the party, because I really wanted to talk to people, but we were able to talk easily without, you know, over the music overpowering anything, and that was really good. So you could be, you know, you, if you chose to go dancing, you could just go all the way to the stage, which was pretty big, and, or... You, would, you know, you had the ability to be at the bar, hanging out, listening to the music still, but not overpowering and being able to talk to people. So there was a lot of things to do at the party. It was pretty, pretty amazing. You never got the photo at the party. You know, that's the one thing I kind of regret. I could not take pictures, many pictures at the convention. I did take Take some, but I was just so busy. Rock is being cute, you kitty. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just I do wish I could have taken more pictures, but I just wanted to talk. I didn't want to be on my phone. Like, oh my god, picture, 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 picture. I don't know. It felt. I was feeling comfortable if I was on my phone. And the the pro also the problem with the battery because you know you take a photo and you want to upload it, you know, to show your friends. Hey guys since you're not here I'm gonna show you something so you can feel like you're here that you know you're being missed yeah next year I'm definitely gonna go next year like immediately uh, immediately as I I know where it is I'm gonna get ticket and I'm gonna make preparations yeah we're enjoying the moment for sure that's that's what I wanted to do and that's what most people wanted to do so the party was pretty cool we stayed there until they literally kicked everybody out because it ended at 11 then we parted ways to you know be able to get, get up early and um, get to the convention I'm gonna show you the, the pictures though that I was able to take they're on my Twitter for the most part so I'm gonna show you what I was able to take um, there was no way to take any yeah it was pretty crowded it was pretty crowded so media is gonna be like the easiest way to check that out let's go back all the way back all the way back so that was that was the those were the boots that I knew I was gonna get stopped at security new rock boots really really nice so this was at the airport in Arizona and that's where we went to the to get in line I think we met Corastus that day too when we pick up our badge and Japan town turbo sad oh my god I'm so happy I was able to see you man much love the got big family I can't even I can't even right now with my hands and we saw this wine, Hello Kitty Sweet Pink Wine, $30 for this, like what the fuck? <laughs> so that, that was, uh, I wore this for the party, so that was Friday uh, outfit. We were able to get Stream Element Socks, I guess, that day, I totally forgot about that. And that was uh, when Tony Hawk was talking, that was super inspirational I don't know if you guys were there but 
I know some of some people were there for that. So that's one of the pictures we took at the party. That's Deja, Jinx, Airborne Native, myself, and Curious Cat. Getting our drink on or party on. Oh yes. And this picture though, this picture is my favorite. This is my favorite. Turbo Sad is lying right on the back. Very hidden Turbo Sad, but you're there. So this is just <clears throat> This is my favorite picture of the weekend. All these people. Here in the back, like right there, but he's right there. You can see his eye and a little bit of his mustache right there. <laughs> We're going. We're doing the emote because that's our, you know, that this is our emote for the Gothic family. Bijuk's demon. Oh my goodness! Hey, how are you? So just so you know, Bijuk's demon made my subscriber badges, and she also made the mini me's. So if you have a little taquito, she made that taquito. The little Cthulhu's were made by her as well oh my goodness no a cold well I hope you get better soon get some vitamins in your system that sucks the fall weather is upon us I made tomato tomato soup grilled cheese oh, that sounds amazing actually but yeah that was this was one of my photos that this was my look for the next day and oh my god, so let me tell you. So we I don't play Fortnite, but we were to the we went to the Fortnite hall and we took this photo. This is one of my friends as well. Ray Jinshi. He came all the way fr from Malaysia by himself. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, it was awesome. So this one, one was one of the photos that um, they had a photo booth at the Fortnite hall and they also had like the glider photo booth that I need to download the photos and uh, post them at some point but this was one of the best photos look at Airborne Native right here like a badass she was cosplaying Marceline and we were just you know wearing our boots together and um, just being casual and ready she was like oh Kim I look like a badass right now I'm ready to kick some booty but yeah, that Saturday was insane. We were walking around the hall and trying to find everything that we needed to do. And we were doing the hunt. I don't know if you do. I don't know if you had the application. Yeah, we drew a lot of attention. Everybody was taking photos of us. There was the official people that were working the booth. Um, they took videos. I know <laughs> billboard. It, it just needs to say Fortnite or something like that. <laughs> But yeah, so that was the Fortnite hall that had a lot of stuff that we didn't really see. There was a bus as well. But it was it was pretty cool. And but yeah, we, we hit the, most of the booths on Saturday because I really wanted to meet as many people as I could and I started to the hunt wasn't really worth it. I was disappointed because I'm not a player of League of Legends. I'm gonna show you the, sh the shirt. It's a it's a pretty cool shirt, but I don't play I don't play that game. So what I'm gonna do at some point? Oh my god! It's gonna probably give it away to one of you guys, one of the subs. So this is the the shirt. Matty Batty, yes, nice to meet you. Dead clown baby, hey. 65% hell yeah. <laughs> to give away the shirts. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking because they had so many. So many. So this is the t shirt. And this is the back. The back is slightly strange. I've never felt that shirt like this. It's like plastic. Oh, yeah, the mouse pad too. So the shirt and the mouse pad and something else. There were some stickers, yes, I think. So this is the back of the shirt. I like the artwork. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I'm not I don't play this game, so 
Maybe I'll send it to somebody at some point. The shirt will melt. I know, I was thinking like, oh my god, he's probably gonna reveal a secret code of, or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know where my socks are. Or when it... Yeah, when it's... Summer over here is just gonna melt like crazy. But yeah, this is the, the mouse pad. I can cover the whole scene with this. Look at that. <laughs> this is pretty big. I have a really small, really, really, really small desk. I need a cold wash and hang dry. Just wash the armpits. That's it. It's pretty cool. I like this, but it's gonna, probably going to have to be underneath my laptop a little bit and somehow work, but it's pretty cool. And I like, I like. And then we got this thing here and this playing cards and there's a, there's dog tags and there's a keychain which is pretty cool. I like this. Actually, not a huge fan of the playing cards because I don't really play cards, but if somebody plays cards, that's pretty awesome. So the, th the purple. The purple. So it says switch gun in the back. The mouse player is decent quality. The hunt was worth the fact. Yes, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Thank you for saying that, Airborne. So it was definitely worth it because of the fact that you, if you follow the hunt, you were going to see things that you probably... Uh, it, helped, it helped you had a plan, some sort of plan to get around because it was so overwhelming that you would be like, I don't know what to do now. I don't know where to go. Should I go here? Should I go there? But if you were using that thing, it was pretty useful. And there was Wi-Fi at the hotel. I mean, at the hotel. At the convention center. So these are the dog tags. Which I like the fact that this is black. So that's a really nice contrast. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And I, love, I really like the keychain. Thank you so much for the follow, Dead Clown Baby. Appreciate that. And that's the end of that patch. And let me turn on the fan real quick because it's really hot in here. So give me just two seconds. So you know, in my channel, you get tacos as points. Oh yes, all the tacos, and it's Taco Tuesday, so towards the middle of the stream, I'm gonna be giving some tacos. Oh yes, or maybe I can do a raffle right now. Can't remember how to use this. Uh, let's see if I can. All right, well, just join it. You can join it <laughs> for a thousand tacos, just exclamation point join. And it ends in 22 seconds, guys, you have time. And uh, this is one of the shirts that I got from the Loot Cave. Okie dokie, Maddie Batty. Have a great dinner. So this was in the $10 bin. Yeah, it's pretty purple, it's a pretty color. Oh, nice, sex! Good job! I'm gonna do another raffle later Towards the end of the stream or middle or whatever, I don't know We'll pick a time So this shirt It's going to be used for streaming What a start, well welcome! A thousand tacos, that's awesome! <laughs> this was given by some somebody that was working the convention The, um, lan the lanyard thingy Which is cool That was rigged it's Taco Tuesday, it's generous right now. Oh yeah, and some some of us, I, I know some people, my friend Kiris didn't get one of these, but we got a magic, uh, the gathering pack of cards, which I'm gonna open right now, because I haven't opened it. One day I can go to TwitchCon and get some sweet. Yeah, I honestly think the swag is like, the it's, it's just bonus. The one thing of TwitchCon is about meeting people and... But this song, is, this song is pretty cool, so... I'm okay with this. And there's... T 
tips for learning and teaching magic. I have not, I've never played magic, so it's pretty cool. So I, I'm gonna tell you how much I spent. And there's two packs of cards, which I'm gonna have to open and check them individually. I'm intrigued to see these ones. That's pretty cool. So maybe I'll get into it. I don't know. It's exp I know it's expensive. I know. I wonder if there's any valuable ones. So that's why I'm going to be like looking them up online and be like, oh my god. Oh my god. But that's pretty cool that they gave us, gave us that. And I got these pants as well. $10. You used to have a bunch of magic cards. Never learned how to play the game. It seems like it's difficult, but... I'm, I'm sure once you get used to it this, It has pockets and it's just really Are you hitting up any PAX conventions next year? So I don't I'm Maybe the one convention that I want to go to Or exposition is E3 This year I was not able to go because I wasn't fast enough to get The ticket Thank you so much for the follow Miss Blitz Appreciate that and what else did I get? This is a tattoo. <laughs> you wanted them and they didn't have any in my size. Oh, I got lucky. I'm like, give me those pants. Where's my pin? Okay, so I, and I purchased this pin as well. Cause it's really cool. Oh, focus camera. There we go. And also they give you like bags for the pins, which are purple as well. And what else is in here? Well, the bag, the prime bag. Hit a PAX East next year. Where is PAX East? Where exactly is? And is that the end of the first bag of loot? The other one is just more stuff from, you know, the vendors and games and also just stream elements like the gamer goo which is a product for gamers and uh, you know it's kind of like a lotion for your hands when you're playing video games it's in Boston oh I'm never there small and extra small yeah I was looking for extra I never found extra small but they come really great they come small they can become a little bit um, not shrunk, but just the the fabric seems a little bit smaller. So small fits small and extra small, and so on and so forth. But the trip cost me so five hundred dollars for the hotel, about one seventy, one fifty for the plane ticket. Um, two hundred. I see. Let's say two hundred dollars for a plane ticket. So that's 700. Um, I spent the whole weekend $150 for food and drinks. So that was, and the ticket was like what, 180? So it was not too bad. It was, I mean, I didn't have the money to do this. I didn't really have the money, but I used my credit card because you know I, I just felt it's one of those things that you feel that is there is this right thing to do that you needed to do that I needed to be at TwitchCon not only because I needed to meet the people that I have you know met here but because I I wanted to learn more about what I'm doing and I want these to be not my part-time but my full-time job music streaming service. and I want to be able to help as many people as I, I can because we are a community and it's about helping each other grow and I've never been so comfortable in a community ever so I'm definitely happy because I met a lot of people that I would like to help what I can whatever I can do I must I'm still affiliated but whatever I can do to get friends that I met to get affiliated so on and so forth you know help each other get to wherever we need to go whatever we need to get and I did learn a lot about what's coming to Twitch, it's going to be crazy. 
An average plane ticket from either coast or was around a hundred dollars. You're mid United States. Yeah, we we got lucky with the plane ticket. Um, we flew s in Southwest, um, and we were able to. I mean, we had. There's two bags that you can check in for free, I guess. I only took one bag to check in. I had a backpack just in case I, for the swag. The coast stream, yeah, the coast stream is gonna be amazing. I'm excited for the to set up the blacksmith as well at some point. I look forward for the tournament uh, thing. I, game on I think it's named I can't remember the mod the moderation tool now that the moderation um, the mods are gonna be able to see the number of times that the people have been banned and they are going to be able to take to put a note on people on people's um, I guess flag that counts I don't know glues your feet to the ground you don't like to fly shadow kitty but yeah, I'm excited for that because that's gonna be easier. It's gonna be easier to control trolling, which a lot of people have to deal with that a lot. And it's gonna make the moderators work a lot easier. You know, to be able to see, look at the notes that other moderators have done on that person and seeing how many times have been banned, timeout, reasons, etc., etc., etc. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. But the co-streaming is one of the things that's cool because that way we don't have to go to a multi-twitch to open it and maybe it will work maybe it won't work but there's some there's a lot of stuff that's coming even stream elements they were telling me that there's stuff that is coming that it's gonna be very com competitive with stream labs customize the regular badge I'm not sure but I do look forward for the VIP badge and I know who I'm gonna hit up for that VIP badge. She's right here. Just saying. <laughs> Gotta go for a bit food time. Oh, no worries. No worries. Thank you for coming and we'll be here. Much love to you and thank you for stopping by. Have a great dinner. Maybe you get tacos some other time. You don't have to get tacos on Tuesday only. You can get tacos somewhere else. Right, everybody? But, but yeah, it was... It was crazy. If you have any questions in regards to my experience for TwitchCon, let me know. It's it's a little bit hard sometimes to narrate everything. I, I mean, I, I haven't told you like half of what I did, but it's just, I don't know, one of those trips that it, everything fell into place. Every single thing fell into place. Everything was meant to happen. There was only one thing that made me uncomfortable at, at that, but it, it has nothing to do with the convention itself. It's just, you know, some people, uh, lack of um, understanding of social cues. But other than that, no issues. Is there anything you do different to, differently next time with what you did or what got handled? So the main thing that I wanted to do is meet people that I wanted. I, I, I didn't make a list, but I had names in my head that I wanted. I really, really wanted to see because either they have helped me out or I have just met them through Twitch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we got, I got this tattoo at the Sea of Thieves booth. So I'm definitely the first thing, the, the first thing I'm gonna do again next year is make sure that I communicate with everybody that I want to see so I make sure that I see them. I would definitely do differently the photo taking. I need to take more photos, especially with people at the convention because I feel like I didn't nearly take enough pictures. Memories are good and all, but when you take a picture, it's, it just lasts longer and you can look at the picture and smile and be like, well, I met these amazing people Panels were not really big for me um, because I, I'm always more focused on. No worries. Enjoy your tacos, amiga. I'm always more focused on having that one on one interaction with people. The panels, I feel like the panels were amazing for people that were just starting streaming. I mean, obviously, for everybody too, you know, or even people that have been streaming for a long time, they were really good, but. 
I just had a feeling that I just needed to be outside of the panel. So that's why I did. I chose not to. I, I am kind of sad I, I did not make it to the Felicia Day panel though. That would have been a good one to attend. Um, definitely kind of um, prepare a little bit better on what I want to do. As far as kind of like map out the way I'm walking throughout the hall because I feel like I was walking around, we were walking around aimlessly. We we're like, oh, let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. And I do know that I missed a bunch of foods that way. So that was one of the things that I need to work on. Maybe kind of like do zigzags or a different way. Try, try to approach every single booth next year. I did have my business cards, which if you guys don't have business cards, you need to work on those immediately. <laughs> See, that's one. I I had I almost ran out of business cards. I have like eight business cards left because I was even meeting people at the airport. You know, you never know who you're gonna talk to. I, on the way back, uh, when when we uh, got dropped off by Airborne Native at the airport, I was walking around, and now I after security check and everything, uh, the boots were kind of like a conversation started, and I saw somebody that had developer on their shirt and I'm like hey what game are you that you are you a developer for a game or what do you do and he's like oh I'm actually a twitch developer and I'm like oh nice we're talking a little bit and uh, you know about what I do or what, he's, about, what he does and the games that I play and he actually told me about a game that I need to figure out what the name of it is I think it's a walking dead game that is kind of like a combination of dead by daylight with left for death and Apparently it's gonna be amazing, so I'm like, so we exchanged we exchanged business card. Ricky Tan, thank you so much for the lurk, my friend. And I met a bunch of partners that were just, you know, hey, how's it going? And it's super friendly. It was, and I had, and I also walked into Boots, Stream Elements, and such. And uh, they were like, do you have a business card with you? I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've been watching game. What is the name of that game, Bijuk's Demon? Because I need to find it. But it's very important to have business cards. And there's out there's actually a website that I'm gonna show you guys where I use I, I do get my um, business cards from so I can recommend that for you. So it is moo.com. It is I love I have stickers from this, I have Overkills, The Walking Dead. Okay, thank you. I definitely need to check that out. So they have business cards. They have mini cards. They have the looks mini cards. Oh my gosh. What the hell? I don't care if they a private polygon now. Stop! The show! Ah. But yeah, so... They're in business cards. So you get to choose the paper that you want. So 50 cards for $19.99. So the standard size. I personally like the rounded shape because that way you don't cut anybody if you're throwing a, your business cards like this you don't kill anybody with that and the corners if they're pointy they get ruined too fast so 50 cards for $23 $23.99 and you can put your emote if you want to you can co you can color them you can put a photo it's pretty amazing so and always make sure to do double side business cards Double side is very important because if you think about it, when you grab a business card, what do you do? You grab a business card and you turn it around. You're going to be like, oh, oh. So the way I have mine, I have my my uh, avatar right here. And then in the back, I have variety streamer. I have a little bat, like um, subscriber badge and then variety streamer blah 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 and then my twitch link simple very very simple but sometimes the simpler is the better so I recommend I mean obviously go what with what you feel is best for you some cards work different for us but but don't put a lot of information on the front like don't put everything your blood type and everything don't put it on the front because people are gonna read it and gonna be like okay there's you know okay 
be a little bit more um how's it? Well, I don't know what the word is but more um oh my god make them more interesting but yeah this this website is really good with that but that's one thing that I would recommend you guys to have even if you're not going to a convention just have business cards with you have them in your pocket because you never know who you're gonna meet and you know when you're you are you are talking with people and touch the video game topic and you happen to talk about twitch you can give them your business card and be like oh okay there's a lot of people out there that don't don't know about twitch like i went to at&t earlier and this guy had no idea what twitch was and i explained that to him so he was like, oh my god, well, I should check it out. So it's, it's a good way to to network too. But yeah, business cards, important. And, um, but yeah, planning out better uh, navigation of the hall would be a good thing to do. And try to check out as much as possible because I did not really see the Fortnite hall that much. I didn't even know the Kappa Cabana was there. I didn't get to see that because I was kind of like focused on certain things. I was kind of like tunnel vision sometimes. But overall, I did meet everybody and uh, my expectations were met completely. And I'm very satisfied with that. I'm very sp inspired. And I learned a lot throughout the weekend talking with people, I feel other affiliates, partners, developers. And you know everybody who artists as well, even staff. It was pretty amazing, but but yeah, definitely going to the con next year. I don't know where it's gonna be. Hopefully it's closer. But if it's in San Jose, I exactly know where I'm gonna be at. So and I'm gonna be more familiar with the area. But let's get uh, ready to play now. I will be probably showing you more stuff within um, the next couple of days. I'll take pictures. I did get a couple of keys for uh, Black Desert Online for PC. I have two extra ones, so I'm going to be giving them away pretty soon before um, November 11th because this pass is does have an expiration date and I also have other stuff to give away because you know if you were not able to to go to the convention I would like to hook you up with some stuff that I got but let's get this dead by daylight stream started if you have any questions of what happened the weekend anything else that you can think of just let me know later you can feel free to whisper me and whatnot and if you have dead by daylight and would like to join now now will be the perfect time to do it just let me know i'm gonna get this ready guys mm -hmm. oh and tomorrow i'm gonna be doing a very fun stream i'm gonna be doing the unboxing of the fall box for pusheen that's the last box that i'm gonna be able to get unfortunately but i'm excited to open it with you guys and then after that i'm gonna be doing an unboxing after the unboxing, I'm going to be doing a showing of a film that I was part part of. It's a short film that I did a while back, but it's, you know, it's going to be Halloween. So I have to kind of show it because I think it's quite fitting for this spooky day that it's going to be tomorrow. And then afterwards, maybe play some Identity TV or another spooky game. We'll see. We'll see. But that stream is going to happen at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So let's get this game started. Shadow Kitty's like, mm, 